All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is a video tutorial about how to set up and install Zencart. Now, Zencart is a uh, shopping cart software program. Uh, it allows you to uh, set up your own online storefront and allow uh, customers of yours to buy products from you. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, though, is if you find Zencart a little too difficult, uh, what you can do right here is lower on our page right here under create a storefront we have an alternative product uh, basically it's a template template driven program which allows you to choose how many products you want to sell then you just choose a template and then you are off and running all you do is upload your own photos uh, upload the information about your products and the prices and then you'll be able to create your own online storefront and there's hundreds and hundreds of templates to choose from and this product is available for you also and it's a lot easier to set up but I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going under the assumption that you've already got a hosting plan and now you're just ready to install Zencart. So I'm going to log into my account by clicking my login link here. Once I'm in, I will go down below the blue navigation buttons under the products tab and I will click on the plus sign next to my hosting plan that I want to set it up on. I've got my domain name here. I'm going to go over to the right and I'm going to launch into my hosting section. Here it comes. All right, so on the right side under the applications area is where you can install any of these programs and a lot more. I'm going to click on Zencart. And here it is. So Zencart is compatible with my hosting plan. I'd probably recommend if you don't know what hosting plan to go with, to go with the Linux plan. That's my recommendation over Windows. Um, I'm going to click Install Now. The great thing about using this installation program is you make sure that you install it correctly. Um, it's automated so you don't won't mess anything up uh, you know, in case you did it manually and you didn't do it exactly right. So I'm going to choose the domain I want to set it up on, and I'm going to click the Next button lower down. Here comes step two. I'm going to put in a database description right here, Zencart. I can put in the name of my domain name too if I wanted to, if I owned a lot of domains. I'm going to create a database password. Click the next button. And right here, uh, make sure that you're aware of this. It's going to ask you what indirect what directory do you want to install it in. Uh, I want it as my home page, so it's the first thing people see when they come to my home page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to backspace over that, leave it completely empty, and then I'm going to click next. I'm going to create an admin username. This is a login username for my Zencart backend admin area. So I'm just going to call it uh, t-shirts today. I'm going to make a note of that because I'm going to have to save that for later on. And I'm going to put in my password. Let's see here. I'm going to put in my email address here. Uh, you know, whatever it is. And then I'm going to click my full name, my storefront name, and my address, and I'm going to click Finish. And then what's going to happen is, over the course of the next 20 minutes, the program on the back end is going to install Zencart for me. And then once it's all done, I'll be able to use the username that I created here and the password I created here, and I'll be able to log in, log in to the back end admin area of my WordPress, and I, then I can start adding products and choosing prices changing my theme and that's how you install Zencart automatically over at motherlessgoat.com. All right, thanks and if you have any questions at all, uh, give us a call here. We're open 24 hours, 7 days a week to help you. Thank you. Bye-bye.